Tatley. Welcome back. Where are you? Here I am, Aunt oh, Adelaide. Don't crowd me so. Looking very peely, Wally, Cedric. Where's my tea? I must have tea this instant. Of course, this way, at once. I smell damp. No, no, at least not noticeably. Damp in the house. That would account for your pallid complexion. What a lovely hat. A gift from the Duchess of Kent. She has taste. Oh, I've always hated this room. <laughs> Milk? Certainly not. Filthy stuff. Most unhealthy. Sugar? Six, if you please. Let me not beat about the bush, Cedric. The problem with you is that you have too many children. Oh, that. Don't interrupt. I always said that your wife, my poor, weak-minded niece, had no sense of proportion. However, I know where my duties lie. I gave her my word that I would help. And as you know, Cedric, my word is my law. I now propose to help you further. Oh, thank you, Aunt Adelaide. Thank you. Don't interrupt. Sit down. Now, this is my proposal. I shall relieve you of one of your children and give it a home with me at Stitch Manor. <gasps> it will require sacrifice on my part. I realize that. But as my sainted father always said, duty, Adelaide, always duty. But Aunt Adelaide, you mustn't. I, I really can't possibly. Thank me enough, I know. I realize you must feel quite overwhelmed by the benefits of such a plan as to your fortunate daughter, for it must, of course, be a girl and not one of those other things. She will receive private tuition in literature, history, deportment, and above all, elocution. If there's one thing I won't stand for, it's loose vowels. 